Professional boundaries limit and outline expectations for appropriate professional relationships with clients. Professional boundary concerns commonly include issues such as, self-disclosure. It's okay to share superficial information with your patients, but refrain from going into personal details or sharing personal stories. Gift giving. You can accept small gifts from patients, such as a picture they drew, but nothing more than that. And if they give you a simple gesture of a picture, please don't throw it away until you are far out of their eyesight and nowhere near a trash receptacle that they may find it in. Touch. During your clinical, you will not be touching a patient unless they are on a medical floor and you're escorting them to the bathroom or something like that. Friendship or romantic association. Do not exchange phone numbers, last names, or any idea that you might want to see this patient in the future. That isn't just true of our mental health clinical, but all clinicals and with all patients. Warning signs that indicate that professional boundaries of the nurse-client relationship may be in jeopardy. When you yourself are experiencing something where you feel you want to get to know the patient better or if you are seeing that behavior in a classmate, make your clinical instructor aware of the situation immediately. While there are other signs that a relationship with a patient has taken a turn into more friendly territory the more common signs are favoring one client's care over another's keeping secrets with a client changing dress style for working with a particular client swapping client assignments to care for a particular client giving special attention or treatment to one client over others spending free time with a client Frequently thinking about the client when away from work. Sharing personal information or work concerns with the client. Receiving of gifts or continued contact, communication with the client after discharge.